Okay guys, this is my third video, instructional video on how to use SparkEdit and HHT. So always use SparkEdit 3.02 because the other one doesn't work. So I'll show you how to use this one first on Halo, just how to edit, how to edit Halo maps using this. And I'll shrink it down to the size of the window for the um, video. I should have made this window bigger for the video, but oh well. So I'll go to tools. Now make sure, may always make sure this file directory is correctly set. See, my my um my bitmaps is in not in Microsoft Games as it is usually. So it's not here. It's here in Halo Combat Evolved in maps and then bitmaps. So I had to set it to this file directory. If you don't do that, it won't work. So always make sure it's set to that. That's why some people only get lines. And if you're using Windows Vista, always use always open as administrator. So I'm going to need Edgerophobia for this one. Now I've already done about five teleports on this because of previous videos. So this time on the red side, I'll be putting a teleport here because I've put a teleport almost everywhere else. So I'm going to go to Tools and then you go to add teleporter pair. Now always make sure you go to edit and view object in info. That's the destination. So if I'm trying to get somewhere and I put that here and I walk onto it, nothing will happen. What you've got to use is the origin. That's the thing that you walk onto and it'll teleport you to. Always put the origin where you walk onto it and put the destination where you want to go. Okay, so put the origin there. Now remember that for me. Red base. Red red base, yep. Now, yeah, I'll turn off these annoying lines. Just the ones here. Here we go. Now, um, where'd I go? So, ah, uh, MP flags. Okay, so, check this, and use the hand to move, the little hand thing. Okay, um, and I'll put this teleport let's say on top of the map, okay put it on top of the map for you guys you'll see, you'd have seen this on Club G and all that they put, they love putting teleports on, on top of the map okay, so move up and file save changes now there should be a teleport there, well there will be actually one there this took me ages to figure out, but once I did once it's easy, because I didn't use any internet tutorial, so I just decided to make one for you guys' benefit. So, wait while this opens. Space, space, space. Multiply. Gee, that music's loud. Okay, internet. No, cancel. Back. I don't want to join a game, I want to create a game. Geophobia. Team Slayer. Okay. This is m mainly for online play. Okay, so I'm going to jump up here, jump up here, and I'm on the red side, which is handy, which means I'm already there. Now, remember, I put it right here, so I'm just going to walk straight onto it. And here I am. I chucked a club G. Okay, yeah, that's the, um, I put one of those off a little while ago. Put a ghost off here. Okie dokie. So... Now I'll show you how to use um, HHT. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to use HHT. Um, HHT is good. It allows you to swap things like swap dependencies. Now, 
I want I wanna use Geophobia, so open and you go into Geophobia here. Now you wanna gonna go we're gonna change a weapon now. Which weapon do you wanna change? Um I'll change the sniper rifle. No, I won't change that. I'll change the I'll change hmm I'm trying to find something that I haven't changed yet I'll change the rocket launcher I'll change what the rocket launcher shoots okay it's the same process for each one but I've changed some of them so it'll be harder to figure out what I've done so always go to projectile see that P-R-O-J now that means projectile and you want to go weapons rocket 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 launcher and then rocket Anyone you you're gonna change it. Now I'm gonna change it to I'll change it to I'll change it so it shoots plasma grenades. This should be interesting. Okay, swapping dependencies done. Now you could just do this with anything, like it doesn't really matter. But you always wanna change the project you always wanna change the projectile if you're gonna change that. Oh crap, I forgot to save. Okay, maybe it'll still work, maybe it won't. But it's always better to click save changes on the side. Otherwise, yeah, it's always good to do that. Uh, hopefully it'll work this time. Hopefully I won't have to restart the video for the fourth time, since I've always forgotten things. Now remember the... Yeah. Oh, with, um... Also with... Um... What is it? That game. Um... Oh, fail, 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 fail. Anyway, also with the... This will give me time to talk. Also with HHT, you want to go to Options, Tools, Options, and change the um, file directory to... You always want to change the file directory. So now I've got to avoid that teleport I put there. Cleverly avoid this teleport and pick up the rocket launcher without teleporting myself somewhere. This will be hard. Okay. Okay, here we go. I managed to do it. If I'd gone a tad further, I would have gotten shot. Well, I would have changed. So I've forgotten what I changed it to now, but if I shoot, I should be able to find out. See that? That wasn't me throwing them. I'll even change it to... I'll throw all my grenades. See, no grenades left. Yep, second time that happened in this video. Hey, look. I'm coming first, even though I've died twice. Funny that. Anyway, that's how you use HH2. And... And, um... Spark Edit. Spark Edit 3.02. And I'll include the links... in the side. Okay. Thank you for watching.